We're here at TEDx Beacon Street, and I'm sitting down with Dr. Agnes Steib, social engineer at MIT Media Lab. Thanks a lot for joining me. Hi. Uh, so uh, first, why don't you tell us, uh, what is the title of your talk, and uh, what's it about? So the title of the talk is Persuasive Cities for Urban Well-Being. Okay. It's all about enabling people to observe other people having healthy and sustainable routines around their proximity, neighborhoods, and so forth, where they can use that information to keep up their motivation to become healthier and make more sustainable choices, which lead at the end to their own well-being mm -hmm. at an individual level and also on societal level. Yeah, and so even zooming out a little more to give it some context, um, w tell me about socially influencing systems. So social influencing systems is the key element for the persuasive cities. So what it enables, it enables uh, different ways how you can project how people uh, behave around you. For example, imagine in a grocery store mm. and you might, might find yourself difficulties to pick healthy or organic food because you have routines that you maintain already. Yeah. But then all the products are scanned at the counter so that information is present, it's just about applying some big data analysis, figuring out that there are people on average having in their shopping carts like 70% healthy food. You yeah. don't know that now, yeah. but the information is there. So it's only about putting this information, for example, on a big screen in a grocery store. And when you stand there with the broccoli in one hand and hamburger in the other and try to figure out, okay, and then you see that screen and, well, 70%, what do I have? Okay, I'll put the hamburger down. Yeah. I'll take the broccoli. So enabling you to give or pretty much to receive extra motivations by, by knowing there are other people and what their behavioral patterns are. Yeah, so it's almost like, uh, you know, this is very new to me, but it, it makes me think of the way a lot of things happen with social media and like even our like a Facebook news feed, how like the popular things are, are rising to the top. And so applying this to something like a grocery store is really fascinating um, to think about. You know, you got a, a new healthy organic salad that comes in and becomes really popular. I want to know about that. And it's not like I walk around to all my friends and I'm like, hey, what are you eating? What are you eating tonight? Um, so that sort of technology, I think, is, yeah, is very, very fascinating. Yeah, it's pretty much like a technology-based ubiquitous omnipresent feedback mm -hmm. which doesn't disturb yeah. it's like just you can use it screens you can use street lights as well yeah. or park lights so you wonder oh should i go for jogging this morning oh it's a kind of a weather is not that good you look outside the window you don't see anyone in the park but if there is a sensor that counts how much people were there this morning and just gradually change the park light from the bright white to slightly red yeah. which tells you, oh, there were 50, or slightly blue, which tells, oh, there were 100, yeah. which tells me there were people, if, even if you don't see them. So this is like, provides you extra boost. Okay, they were. So then yeah. you question yourself. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. And it seems like the, a type of technology that is such, has such widespread applications. I mean, we just talk about a grocery store, and lights in a park. Um, it seems like the type of thing where if you were to put it into someone's hands, into people's hands in general, um, that uh, they could get really creative with it. And uh, the possibilities seem endless to me. Yes, and uh, why oftentimes people critique uh, different ways of marketing messages or persuasive messages, messages is the fact that they think there is someone behind it. Somebody writes the agenda. Yeah. In this case, it's purely based, and you can see instantly, it's nothing more than the other people purchasing groceries or other people running and you instantly see the feedback so the information fluctuates on the screen or the street light gradually changes the color so it's nothing more beyond that it's just the other people's behavior and the most important part is knowing that the built-in infrastructure currently um, inhibits us from doing many things like for example there are no bike lanes so we are hesitant to, to ride bikes but there are people who find the ways to have the motivation to do that and th these crowds are around us and once the people through this environmental feedback would be convinced or persuaded to join the crowd mm -hmm. it's like eternal loop so the crowd grows yeah by converting more and more people so that's like a eternal machine for well-being cool well thanks for sitting down with me
Thank you. Uh, Dr. Agnes Stibe, the title of his talk is Persuasive Cities for Urban Well-Being, and you can check it out at TEDxBeaconStreet.com.